Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 15 and the model is a 500 series model. If you want to know the exact model for this one, it would be Dell registered model is a P39F model. And inside the 500 5000 series it's an Inspiron 15-5548 and in this video what I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on these models it's really easy and it takes about a few minutes and you can have extra RAM if you want to the tools that you're going to be needing it's a screwdriver set only and uh, maybe yeah with a screwdriver set you can do it I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best tool sets out there. They have S2 class steel bits which are really tough and they will last you a long time. We're going to be using Phillips number zero. Okay. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Make sure the power is completely off. Do not hibernate. Do not put a standby or anything like that. You just want to turn it off completely. Then you want to flip over the laptop. And on the bottom, you're going to see two screws. Actually, you're going to see four, two on each side. We're not going to remove the one on the silver side on the far corner. We're going to remove the one right by the mesh right here. So go ahead and remove the screw in this corner and remove the screw on the other corner also i just see only a few of my subscribe my viewers are subscribing it would be really nice if you guys could click likes and subscribe to my videos it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests all right now that we remove the two screws down here you can either use your finger to just poke your finger right in there and then lift it up and or you can just use an opening tool and really something tough or flat screwdriver too. So let's take it right there and then peel it up. You're going to feel here some clicks. And once you lift it up, move it backward to the, towards the hinge. Because you want to release these uh, hinges from here. Alright, once we remove the bottom cover, down here the RAMs are right over here. This one has a 4 gig and 4 gig. So in total there's an 8 gig of RAM in here. You might have only 4 gig or if you want to upgrade you can go up to 64 gig but i would recommend max that you should go is a 32 gig for this processor so you can put a 16 gig and 16 gig in here if you find a 16 gig ddr3 ram these are a ddr3 ram by the way all right to remove the ram there's uh two things before we continue some people are going to say that remove the battery you must remove the battery before you remove the ram that's actually not true. You do not need to remove the battery to remove the RAM. Just as I can remove it and plug it in as many times as I want without removing the battery. Even the hard drives or anything like that. Or, but for sake of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the battery. So before upgrading the RAM. To remove the battery, there is one, two, three, four screws. So go ahead and remove these four screws on the battery. The screws are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Again, it's with a Phillips number zero. Once you remove the screws, just grab this thingy right here, this plastic, and just pull it out. And pull it out. And it's going to disconnect the battery. That's your battery right there. Now, if you're paranoid, you can do this and continue with upgrading your RAM. To remove the RAMs, what you want to do, you want to pull these two triggers apart, so, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And what you want to do, you want to just grab it in 45 degree angle and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. Alright, once you get the new RAM, you want to make sure the notch on the RAM right here matches the notch right on the dim, right in here. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through because the notches not matching. So grab the RAM, 
again in 45 degree angle and remember right here on the bottom on the case on the motherboard it says dim b so this one is the principal dim so first you must put this one by the wi-fi if you want to put only one ram place this one in first and then second place the second ram right over here so you want to put the ram in 45 degree angle slide it all the way towards the jack and then push it towards the motherboard and this clip they're gonna open and they're gonna snap in okay same thing with this one pull it out pull it out in 45 degree angle push it back in and push it towards the motherboard now if you replace the ram or you add new ram in here and uh, if you power on and there is no boot and the light and the fan spins don't panic what you want to do you want to just swipe the places or put the new ram on the ram dim a and then power on and once you get the boot screen power it off place the second ram and then power power it on again because sometimes the bios doesn't detect both at the same time for the first time so you might want to place one and then place the second one uh, it's kind of weird but it does happen uh, often and i seen people in the, my comments saying that it doesn't det detect so i give them these instructions and it does work for them as it does for me sometimes all right once you have the ram in there you want to grab the battery you want to put down this corner down and then align it a little backward and then make sure this contact goes all the it says press here Press it in here, make sure the contact touches the contact on the board. Grab the four screws on the battery and place it right on top. All right, and the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover. You can go ahead and start cleaning this mesh right here because this is the ventilation. Grab an old toothbrush and clean it up. I'm gonna make another video how to repaste Check my other videos for repasting this one. If you want to upgrade the hard drive to an SSD drive to make it faster. So I'll be making another videos on this laptop. All right, first you want to put down the front end of the lap uh, cover. So these hinges right here, they have to go first down. So put down on this one in 45 degree angle and then bring it over and then push down the corners. Make sure it snaps in. What I do, I just hold it from the middle so I keep this kind of curvature so it goes easier and then I keep it up and then press this side down and then I just go backward. So pretty much I'm just doing a curve right through the corners and you can just pinch in and the last thing would be to put in the bottom covers, bottom screws. So grab the bottom screw and place it in. All right, guys, and this is how you upgrade your RAM for your Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series. If you have any questions or requests, you know where to leave them, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.